हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू योर चैनल फ्लाइंग एंड विड्रॉज सो टूडे इस टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू बी एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट वट आर द स्टेप्स विच मेक यू अ सक्सेसफुल टू हंड्रेड आवर्स पायलट विच मेक यू अ सी पी एल होल्डर सो आई गो वन बाई वन एंड आई टेल यू वट आर द स्टेप्स वट आर द प्रॉब्लम अ पर्सन कैन फेस इन द फ्लाइंग स्कूल सो वंस यू एंटर द फ्लाइंग स्कूल द फर्स्ट डे इज योर एयर एक्स Air experience, it's called as air experience. In that, your instructor, your assigned instructor, will take you for a kind of trip in the air, where you will enjoy the clouds, you will enjoy the mountains. You, if you are uh, in near mountains, you can enjoy mountain. It's a kind of experience. The first time you are sitting in the aircraft, how it feels. You just have to feel the aircraft. Nothing else. From the second day, you have to start preparing for your. Uh, so many things you have to start how to control your aircraft you have to start with your banking taking off how to climb how to descend all these will till 5 to 6 hours you will be doing as well as taxi also then you you are prepared for a test so the test in that test instructors will be going with you or sometimes the cfi also interested to take the test it depend upon school to school once you are clear with the test you are okay with the basic concepts of flying like climb descend turns climbing turn descending turns and all now you are clear for circuit and landing this is a major step to get your solo solo is a very important part in any student flying we all wait for it for to get your first solo when you are flying alone without an instructor sitting next to you so for the solo you have to do a lot of circuit and landing in a circuit landing that is a phase called circuit and landing phase where you are prepared for solo so in that phase the instructor will go with you you will do five circuits 10 circuits in an hour 15 circuits in an hour so that you are able to land the aircraft properly so after it you can get your solo in 15th hour you can get your solo in 20 hour you can get your solo in 25 hour so it depends upon per person performance so now the solo phase is over you got your first solo you have you are started enjoying your flying now you should be know the journal flying the journal flying is basically five nautical mile around your aerodrome is the fly, uh, flying area where you do your journal flying so in journal flying also first the instructor will take you for journal flying and then after he will think okay you are good he will have some check with you for general flying once he feel you are okay comfortable aircraft is yours so you started going for a journal flying you make some hours 15 to 20 hours then you are fully enough you have completed your journal flying now the third phase started that is a cross country cross country basically means going from one place to another like more than 60 nautical mile and if a large that is called a short nap and for a longer distance it is called a cross country so you start preparing for the cross country but before that you should know the if that's called instrument flying if you are well good enough or and you are ready for cross country you should be good enough with your instrument you should be flying without seeing an outside just seeing your instrument maybe you can be in cloud maybe you you can get some radial vectors you are near to some aerodrome you are near to some runway so you can get some radial vectors so to know your position and location with regard to your instrument you should know instrument flying so basically for cpl we require 20 hours of instrument flying but for your cross country you just require 5 hours of instrument flying so you go with the instructors you start doing instrument checks you start doing instrument flying once you finish with your 5 hours of instrument flying you are ready for cross country so the instructor will take you for some short navigation places he will bring you back if you are good enough if you are able to perform well if you are able to detect where you are your cross country is completed and then you are ready for check maybe he can take you twice he can take you thrice for your cross country it all depends on your performance and then be ready for the cross country check also again a check in this you will be going with your cfi or a deputy cfi for a cross country check you are everything done you are clear with your cross country voila now you are solo you are going to take the aircraft alone for your cross country in between your cross countries you will be doing a lot of if because you require 20 hours of if and you require 50 hours of cross country for your cpl so the requirement basically are few circuit and landing 20 hours of instrument flying 
50 hours of cross country once you completed your with your cross country now is the time for night flying that is a very amazing scenario when you fly in the night but in night flying also you basically you require five five solo hours to your night flying so so the same process how it is in circuit and landing the instructor will take you first for familiarization knowing how to take your aircraft in night how to climb in night how to descend in night and once you are okay with night then it will start with your circuit and landing once you clear with your circuit and landing you are solo for night so for night flying you have to do five around five hours in that five hours you can go for you will be going for a cross country or so in the night and that's an amazing very amazing scenario finally you have done with your night flying so the last part is the checks you will have to go through a gft day that's a journal flying test day a journal flying test night and instrument flying test and thank god if you clear all your checks you have 200 hours there is one more thing if you want to do multi also in 200 hours 185 hours you can do in single engine and the 15 hours you can do in your multi or whatever you like if you want to do your 200 hours in single engine you can go for 200 hours but if you want to do your multi engine also in 200 hours you can after 185 hours you can go for multi engine for multi engine you should be having a proficient enough in journal flying day test journal flying night test uh, you you should be having instrument flying as well as you should be uh, good with few circuits and landing so overall this is the 200 hours which you require to get your cpl hope all the new students you like my video please like subscribe and share with the new pilots and i'll be back next week tab tak thank you bye